So here's our stepper motor robot, and let's review the components. Up here is the launch pad, and we have two stepper motors, each one tied to a wheel. There's one stepper motor tied to the left wheel and another one to the right wheel. We have two sensors. Uh, we have the left bumper sensor here, which is just a switch, and the right bumper switch uh, as well. On the protoboard here are the L293 motor drivers. Here's the one driver, and over here is the second driver. Um, this uh, pretty black chip here is the regulator, which takes power from the battery, the 8.4 volts, and generates a 5 volts out uh, to power the launch pad. The two sensors are connected to P port E pins 1 and 0, and the two stepper motors are connected to port B. And what are those back sensors, John? Oh, well, every robot has to protect itself, and you don't want to run, and run into things going backwards. So the back ones are for future development. All right, so let's try it out. All right, here's the on switch. Look out. Stand back. It might explode. And oh. this is approaching from the side where it turns in response. Now, if we want to try the other configuration, where this is going to approach from the other angle, Ooh. it should turn according to the finite state machine design. Now, it's going to be harder for us to simulate or envision the situation where both bumpers hit at the same time. It's unlikely, so because the one, this one struck first, it's going to turn to the right. All right, will this robot protect itself, or will it fall off the table? <laughs> it will fall off the table. <laughs>